Welcome to the CollectingCast.com podcast with Chris Harris and Edward Lovett. Hello, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021 and welcome to a very special Collecting Cars podcast. I'm stood at Walters Arena, famous World Rally test stage in Wales, with Rob Dickinson from Singer Vehicles and Richard Tuttle as well from, uh, well, Tuttle Porsche. Um, and you guys have just started and are about to release a fascinating new project. Can you succinctly tell me what on earth I'm looking at here because it is the most remarkable vehicle I've seen in a long, long time. Rob Dickinson. Oh, thank you, thank you, Chris. Um, well, we 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 uh, we worked closely with one of our clients who asked us what would an all-terrain 911 look like if we did it with a uh, an establishment that knows what the hell they are doing with rally cars, and that's why Richard and Singer have joined forces, and that's this is the result. Yeah. This thing's outrageous. You'll be seeing pictures of it online now. I'm sure the release has got around the world because it's a remarkable thing. Been a labour of love for you, hasn't it, Richard? Yeah, yeah, as often uh, these things are. But, um, Harry, I think you'll remember stood in this car park when we drove the RGT for the first time. Yep. It's another level on. <laughs> and, and we know what we thought about that. So it's uh, hugely privileged to be involved in it. And, Jesus Christ, it's good. So let's talk about the structure of it. So it is, it, there is some 964 underneath it. Absolutely, a whole load of 964. Yeah, yeah um, just just with a load of beautiful um, carbon uh, bonded onto the onto engine the top is, of it. Engine is what? It's it's Singer's new uh, twin turbo, uh, 3.6 litre, all singing, all dancing. How much power? Six. Flat six. Uh, it's got about 450, um, but as as you know, um, with turbos you have options. Turn the wick up. So the design of this thing is fascinating. Now for me. As a child of the 80s, there is, there's a hint of 959 Dakar oh, in this bad boy, and it looks oh, like yeah. you've gone to town on it. No, I mean, I think this is a, a, a bit of a departure from us. I think the, the, the car that we build in California, which we call the Classic, uh, classic program is clearly our attempt to uh, 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 optimize the F model. But early Porsche 911, the DLS, which we did with Williams over here, is a is taking that to its logical conclusion. Um, the ACS, the All Terrain Con- um, Competition Study, as we call it, is is I think a, a, a celebration of that final golden era of, of Porsche rallying in the 80s, when uh, with the SCRS and the first four wheel drive, and then of course the 959 in 86, which um, which won the Paris Dakar in its all singing very complicated fashion so i think uh, we we looked at at celebrating that rothman's era with a car which tipped its hat to the 959 which i think is appropriate to the twin turbo and the four wheel drive um obviously there's a lot of wrs wrc um know-how going on underneath un- underneath this this thing so it's but it's also uh, a celebration of the the g model as well which was the scrs so it's a uh, it's kind of like a mashup of the two um, that is the singer way, though, isn't it? Mash up. Little it's bit. a slightly crude phrase for the beautiful projects you, <laughs> you, you produce, but mash up. Well, it's a hot rod. I mean, we're hot rodders at heart. It's amazing. In, in, in the uh, in the food industry, they call it they call it fusion. You call it mash up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever term works. Hi- hybrid, greatest hits. Um, but we do we do you know every, everything that we've done for the last ten years has been heavily in, heavily influenced by Porsche's motorsport heritage. And I think hopefully we're doing our bit to, to celebrate that, and, and you know, and, and taking and taking the wisdom that Richard has over many many years of being deeply involved in rallying, and um, and and doing things properly. You know, that's what we always try. You know, we're very good at singer at knowing what we're not very good at, and when we're not very good at stuff, we, we try and find the, the best people around. We did that with uh, hopefully with Williams for the DLS and Richard with this and uh, Mr. Harris and you. And um, yeah, it's brilliant. It's, it's a fuck. It's a team effort. It always is a team effort. We've got a brilliant, brilliant, uh, brilliant uh, creative team back in California that have been working on this for all of last year while we we're locked locked down doing crazy stuff. And this is the first time today that I've seen the bloody thing in real life because we've been we've been doing it over zooms and what have Baptism you. of fire, isn't it? So you turn up to see the thing. You've never seen it move before, and within 30 seconds, you've seen it about seven feet off the I ground know. it's brilliant it's brilliant uh, we, put, we should paint a picture of what we're looking at here which is s- snowy snowy all-terrain madness it's like a playground for the uh, it's rally it's for the rally and net nice the, the place Proper now, man. Proper. now so how often do you get the chance to start from scratch this is the amazing thing isn't it i mean you, you started with 
a platform, which is 964, but really, this is just a wet dream of a car, isn't it? Because you've had the resources and the know-how and the time to, to put together your ultimate spec Rally 911, which is why it's got twin shocks all around and it looks like something that's going to the moon. It's incredible. Yeah, I think you've summed it up. This, um, for, us, for anyone to have an opportunity to build the ultimate car in their field, and for us, it's all about 911, um, I have dreamed about something similar for a very long time. Then to, to, to then get encouraged, pushed to the limit in a really nice way, by the bloke who stood next to you and a great client to produce something that is looks stunning um, so far very limited testing working brilliantly it doesn't it doesn't get any more exciting and it's staggering such a cool thing and it's and you know we, we owe an enormous debt of thanks to our to our client who is who is just just the best and uh, you know believes in us I think trusts us um, gave us a, a bunch of his money to, 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 to bring something that was special. I mean, uh, you know, clearly we're, we're well aware that, you know, uh, Safari rallies lifted 911s are rather de rigueur at the moment, as they say in Germany. Um, and they're, some of them are fantastic. Some of them have been incredibly inspiring to us. Some of them are not so great. And we just wanted to, you know, uh, we were asked to do something and we said, can we do it properly? And that's why we're here, I think, and we've, we hopefully we've tried to do it properly. Yeah. Right, so after, go and have a tea break now. This is an unconventional Collecting Cars podcast. Go and have a Jaffa cake. I suggest a Jaffa cake now, a warm cup of tea. Try and avoid putting sugar in the tea because the sugar supply comes from the orangey bit of the Jaffa cake. If you have sugar in the tea as well, that's double-double. It's like having tomato ketchup with baked beans. Unnecessary. So do that. Then when you come back, we're going to walk around the car and point out some bits. It's going to be like a walk around a car, but you can't see the car, but you can imagine the car. You can see some pictures online. Okay, so have your tea now. See you in a minute. We're now stood in front of this remarkable vehicle. First of all, track width versus wheelbase is almost square, isn't it? It certainly looks that, that way, and now you can ask me to quote the figures, and I've no, no, no idea. No, I'm not, I'm not. But the, but, so we've got nice for underneath. Let's start at the front. Suspension wise, right? I'm looking at, I can see a spring and I can see a damper tube. So it's, it's twin damper, single spring at the front, is it? On the front, yeah, because we haven't, we haven't got as much weight as we have obviously in the rear. Um, so yeah, and then the, the purpose of that is uh, you've got a weight sacrifice because you're carrying two dampers, yep. but you've got dampers that are obviously sharing the load. Yep. So it's a reliability, longevity thing. And also, I presume you can split the, you can, you've got more separation in terms of rate you've got more choice in terms of the, the what you're running at the front haven't you you can you can play with two soft springs one hard one you can do all sorts of things um and i think we should just point out by the way it's day two of dakar yeah so what's cool is we're stood in the middle of this forest and actual dakar is taking place <laughs> and so uh, anyone who wants to go online and look at this type of thing with twin dampers that's where all of this inspiration comes from and have you did you have to seek other knowledge or did you have enough knowledge because obviously you guys are safari experts you've you've done more outrageous off-road stuff with 9 lens than anyone else are you outside of your thinking zone here i'm never outside of my thinking zone the question is whether i know what i'm talking about <laughs> but, but but there are there are some very clever people stood within 20 meters of us um and uh so of, of course there's an, a massive knowledge that we have in the company we've done more miles off-road in safari cars than anyone in the world yeah so if you, if you throw that into the mix and then get really clever people involved to bring it up to current spec, this is what you get. Yeah, actually there's a lot of very big foreheads around here. If you look around, there's a lot of big foreheads. And big foreheads normally mean clever people. There's also a few laptops and that's yeah, yeah. terrifying. I have a very small forehead. Rob, yours isn't large either. Uh, <laughs> now, the styling of this thing, a massive, massive clams. I don't, yeah. not, not seafood variety either. No, no, no. It's, it, it had to have clams, and uh, it uh, it's got these fabulous half doors, which were totally inspired by this fabulous shot of the nine five nine wading. Yeah. And of course, the the cage means that you 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 you, you can't use half the the low half of the door anyway. So we thought, well, well, let's 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 chop the door in half. We just love love the look of it, and we, and it's of course the clams are stratos inspired uh you know lancia delta group b and uh, and quattro it's uh, any proper rally off-road car's got to have clams how, how long has this been in your head this thing well we start uh, uh, to be totally candid we started with something that was 
that didn't look as dramatic as this about 12 months ago. And I spoke to Richard, I said, look, and we looked around at all the other stuff that was happening that people were doing. And I think we thought that, um, that it needed to be a little bit more special. And then the, we ramped up in terms of the ambition of the mechanical specification. And then we spoke to our client and said, can, you know, can we do this properly? And he said, yes, go, go for it. And, that, and that's when we, we, uh, we kind of rewrote, rewrote the, um, the, 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 the creative ambition, I guess, of the car. Um, it's, got a, it's got a real 911 headlight unit. How on earth does that work? <laughs> Firstly, you don't, you don't want to know. You don't want to know the cost. Okay, so we're not going to. Well, we're not just. We're not going to talk about cost, but it's extraordinary. Um, and at about 4:30 uh, this afternoon, it should go a little bit dark here, yeah. and then we're going to see how, how they work. And I think, from everything I read and everything I hear, uh, we're going to have plenty of lights. We obviously, it's a rally car. We have provision for a shed load more lights. Yeah. Um, Rob and, and and his team have generated something typically special oh, has it got um, a pod it, yes but we haven't got it with us yeah. uh, there'll that's be coming. a pod that's coming a pod. The, pod, but yeah. the, the, light, the lights are from the um, uh, the 911 RSRs um, which more commonly which, seen which, charging around Le Mans yeah they're, they're the Le Mans spec RSR lights which uh, where'd you get them from Halfords <laughs> <laughs> they're, out, they're out of stock <laughs> a, blo a bloke in Germany sold them to us um, but then getting them switched on was a little bit a little bit complicated because it's uh it requires uh, conversations with... Uh, <laughs> with some extremely, <laughs> extremely helpful people because yes. you can't just talk to this stuff. No matter how many computers you've got, this, the stuff that, that controls all these lights is mega software. So we had some assistance and, and boy, were we grateful for it. Yeah. Moving down the side of the car, um, you'll see a video. So we're not gonna do, I'm not going to do a non-visual walk around, but the cabin is extraordinary. This is the first competition car I've seen where someone gives a shit what the inside looks like rather than just yep. the ergonomic benefits for the driver. This has been styled, hasn't it? Yes, we're, um, my, Florian Flatow is my uh, right hand uh, in back in California. He's a genius. Um, he's been with us now for over a year and uh, the work that uh, we've done together both on the inside and the outside of the car um, has it's kind of extraordinary I think and there's clearly some DLS um, inspiration here as well but to to take a theme and um, and uh, and run with it in, in in the way that we've been allowed to I mean have you seen did you see the, the key yeah no, I'm, I'm gonna have to I'm not like a cricket commentator here I'm gonna have to paint a picture the, of the key uh, the, uh, it, you know they've even designed a key ACS logo I mean it's absolutely beautiful it really is the whole we thing just we just wanted to do it bloody properly and so the all, the, all the all the all the flaps have been molded and, and, and the under trays have been done properly and it's it's extravagant and 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 you know you can you, you I, I guess you can make the argument you give anyone enough money they're going to come up with something that's, that's pretty good but we, we are blessed with people that trust us I'm very good at surrounding myself with very smart people creative people and engineering people that can that can that can bring something to life that no one else has tried to do and we we're, 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 I guess we're quite brave in that respect but we also have the trust of, 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 the, of, of the clients to, to do something as crazy as this but um, thank God you know thank God thank God we can because the world's a better place for this I think but this is the thorny question now you've, you've there's you've built one there's provision for another one isn't there within this project this immediate project yeah what happens after that well, we don't know really. We're gonna. The, the world is gonna see it tomorrow. Um, we're talking to you on January the fourth. The, the car, the, the 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 program, as we call it, gets launched tomorrow, and we'll see. It's it's. Uh, there's been no business case put <laughs> to it. It's, it's, but if you're, it's, but if you're it's a typical singer, really, which we're we're winging it. We know we love it, and we're hopeful that other people will love it too. And that's probably as far as it goes. But it's. Um, it's a proper it's a proper thing and it but can, if, okay it, let's let's i'm gonna i'm gonna talk over you for one second okay so if i'm sitting in my um billionaire fortress and i look at that and i think i want one of those yeah can they phone you and have one yeah absolutely that's the whole point yeah that's why that's why that's, that's why um, just that just tells you what a great bloke is not only has he allowed us to create this he's also then gone okay well look if, if anyone wants one well you better build a few more so it, it just typifies him it typifies how the project's evolved and um 
yeah, we're, 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 we'll see. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure someone's going to like one. Well, I, okay, there, is, there is there is a there's a render of, of something called the Stradali version lurking around. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But that, that, but that, but the car the car can certainly the, the car will certainly operate very well on tarmac. I mean, I mean, Richard has specified this so the car can come down a little bit in its ride height, put some some different a different wheel and tire package on it. And the car will be an absolute weapon on the road. So uh, again, um, you know, a tarmac, a tarmac specification, a tarmac version. specification of it. I mean, whether that's a Stradale or not, I don't know. But well, um, you could imagine, you know, you could have some lad who turns up to some fancy restaurant in Beverly Hills in his Chiron. If um, if they turn up in this, no one's going to look at the Chiron, are they? No, they're not. No, no. <laughs> okay, from the side of the car, we're checking out. Go and have another cup of tea. I know you haven't drink a lot of cup of tea, so may need, may need a toilet break to get rid of some of that fluid. Next biscuit check for me would be custard cream. Go custard cream again, no sugar in the tea. Collecting cars. The safe, smart and simple way to buy and sell collectible cars. An online auction platform for the UK and Europe. Follow us on Instagram at Collecting Cars and also CollectingCars.com. Welcome back from your comfort break. You find me eating a squashy. Sorry about that. Not a custard cream. Now, Rob, update us on General Singer News. DLS will be built this year. Yes, absolutely. We're, we're uh, the first five cars are in are in assembly at Multimatic, um, and that's that's going uh, very well. Obviously, we're uh, we're dealing with obviously. The Brexit news a few days ago had a had uh, had our our supply chain guys scurrying around, but it's it's in it's all under control. It's going very well. Uh, we're we're delighted to be with uh, with Larry Holt at uh, Multimatic, and um, the first cars are coming together beautifully. Um, and you know we're making the best of obviously a, a, a difficult situation here in the UK. It's not easy in California either, but um, we're in. We're, cars are being built. We're um, we're, uh, we're 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 getting around and uh, embracing the regulations as much as we can while still getting on with the program. So. You're still making the classic in in yeah. California. It's yeah. still possible to do that. Yeah, absolutely. It's just not as fast as we would like at the moment. But it's we've got um, a lot of plans to uh, speed up um, uh, assembly of the cars in California. We're going to move to a new building, a purpose purpose-built that shed that you visited us in 13 years ago 10 years ago whenever it was is uh, is slowly get slowly getting phased out for a, a little bit more of an appropriate uh, building where we can have everything under one roof and uh, we hope, hope to have that in place middle of the year and um, and yeah just hiring some fantastic people that can help us actually do what uh, we thought we could do totally on our own 10 years ago we're trying to fit, trying to actually embrace some experts to help us do it properly and uh, and that uh, can't happen soon enough. So it's it, it's good. It's just we just need to get over this horrible thing that we're all dealing with. Um, Richard, you've had more contact with me than DLS with the engine. Give us a summary of what the thing's like. This engine. This this engine is the centre of the vehicle, and and people have heard it, but it's pretty remarkable, isn't it? It's staggering. I'm not I'm not privy to the stuff you drive. Um, I've driven a few, few few cool cars, but this. I mean, the whole car is another level. Um, the engine is sort of defies logic. Uh, it revs sort of like a 911 engine doesn't rev, but this one really does. Um, but what's quite nice is you, you can also just cruise around in it. So it's got huge amounts of torque. Um, there's a funny story about the various specifications that these boys were dreaming up, and they had a very nice surprise with a certain camshaft that all of a sudden delivered a load of more torque, correct emissions, and still worked at the top, so it's, it's a staggering thing. It's a the whole thing is a joy to drive. Yeah, I'm um, I'm amazed by. It. I have to I haven't been in it for a while. I look forward to having to go in one of these these first cars. But um, it's a defining moment in the internal combustion engine motor car, isn't it? I think if you wanted, if you were a collector of that type of vehicle, you'd have a McLaren F1, you'd have an F50, you'd probably have some BMWs and some other stuff that have defined, normally aspirated. Yeah. powertrain but you'd need one of these because yeah. it, it, it the sense of low inertia for me it just feels like everything has got a better a better grease on it and doesn't have any friction and the, and it just zings it's incredible yeah you yeah. need you need the rev limiter yeah 
And uh, you're, in, you're, you're in it the whole time. In fact, we need to think about that because a lot of a lot of GT3s are valued on how often they've hit the limiter, aren't they? Yeah. And you get this, you're punished if you've yes. hit it ten times. Every DLS is going to have hit it about a hundred times. That's leave, leaving the car park. But listen, the point <laughs> being, the point being, listen, this thing that I'm driving around today, that's what a rev limiter does. So if the rev limiter is correct, then it, it, it's not going to damage the engine. So uh, I'm sure they've got it right. Nice, nice bit of PR there from Richard. I like that. Yeah. So, um, but 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 orders are up on 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 Singer, aren't they? So you know a lot of a lot of people in your marketplace because you now have to understand that you're you're a player. You know you're you're an option against a McLaren or a Ferrari <laughs> or a Louis Vuitton <laughs> flat or whatever it is you want to buy with your money. It doesn't feel like it's and, standing and in this field. Right? I know, I know. Well, the glamour of it of Walter's Arena. You can have your cup of tea. We have we have got a custard cream for you as well. But um, but orders are up, aren't they? People want more classics yeah it's it's incredible we've we've had we've had the biggest year in our history um which is which is humbling and fantastic and that, that people trust us with their money to build them something spectacular and and um and it's you, you know we've, we were talking earlier weren't we chris about uh, bring a trailer and um and um collecting, collecting cars. cars and uh, you know the the, the 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 huge amount of success that's been ha- had there you know, people are sitting around dreaming of better things, aren't they? And I think um, if we can, if we can scratch that itch, we, we will. And uh, and you know, good things are going to happen from this from this from this period we're in. And uh, we're ready to get out of the track. I get the sense there's things you want to tell us, but you can't tell us. A little bit, yeah. We've got a lot. We've, we've been we've, we've we've been very creative last year. I keep having to remember it's last year now. I mean, you know, we've been stuck in LA. You know, with with uh, doing all we can but uh, the creative juices have been flowing there's, there's a we're going to be launching something else quite big later this year um acs is the first thing of the year but um yeah it's it's great we've 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 been given enough uh trust to do some very 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 fantastic stuff and it's um and it's uh, i can't believe it i mean you know you we met 10 years ago didn't we chris and we were you know, you know what? We were a bunch of amateurs taking a big, big <laughs> risk on many things. And I, I like to think we're still very much in that headspace. But, well, you wouldn't. but we do have we do have some self confidence now that perhaps we didn't have then, and we have some belief in ourselves, and we have the obviously the belief of other folks, which is which is amazing. You have to retain the madness. There has to be a sense, a certain amount of chaos. Otherwise, yeah. everything would be homogenized no. into ordinary products. So and it's still it's, it's, as it's, Richard knows, it's about managing the madness of singer, isn't it? <laughs> They're wonderful. <laughs> Is that what I'm supposed to say? No, they're, um, look, they're, we're stood next to something that just without a little bit of that or a shed load of it, to be honest, um, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't happen. And I, I'd like to think that um, we're, we're a company that's got a little bit of madness. I mean, Generation 4 has got far too much, so yeah, we yeah. try and taper down on that a bit. But um, the world needs some madness because that's how products are created. And um, that's one of the joys of doing something like this because... You you pushed very very hard, and 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 hence it's beautiful. Neil, Neil Kerry is currently applying a sucker to a carbon fibre clamshell. That, lad. Don't but, scratch it. That, that is, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just a bit a bit of cautionary <laughs> shouting going on there. I think I should say. So Rob has looked at this for the last year and a half or so, um, and if any of you had the privilege of meeting him, it's fairly nerve wracking because he'll start touching and looking at lines and feeling and all that stuff he does good job flow isn't it it'd be all, it'd be all over it with <laughs> the best it. thing is he turned up into a welsh forest the car's already covered in shit and he can't <laughs> he can't see a line he can't see a door gap he can't see a paint blemish I, I, uh, it's I wonderful know, i know it's all it needs to be it's because we've been we've been watching yeah endless zooms at eight o'clock in the morning in in uh, in, in, in always, la it's always eight o'clock oh. for you and it's always for us at the end uh, of the day no. so i want to Lock up, man. Oh, no, the talk to, just woken up. Talk to the bloody singer boys. At, uh... We had to change one meeting that was five o'clock on a Friday night. So after a couple of them, we thought, well, this is a crap idea. So it became five o'clock on a Thursday night. <laughs> and um, I've had some great chats with Rob in some unusual places. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to change the subject quickly. Don't, don't, don't talk about one last thing, Rob. Um, the, the singer look, as we can now call it. Um, you've managed to define what what for me sits perfectly between the the tuna wrestler model look and the OEM look to make it your almost singer OEM look. How do, how do you get to that point? Because people are trying, the best thing I can say is people are trying to copy the singer now and do pastiches of the singer and they all look shit. Which means you're doing something better than they're doing. 
So obviously this is in your noggin, but could you think you can verbalise it? What, is it just a, a touch and a feel for you? I think it is. I mean, uh, you know, uh, people have been buggering about with 9-11s for, you know, 40 years, haven't they? And, and you know, why, w why, would, why would we be able to do it perhaps differently to anybody else? I can't put, I can't put my finger on that, uh, Chris. It, it's it's um, To say you have a vision makes you sound like an asshole, but if you it's don't... It's not Chris Bangland. <laughs> no, 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 but, but, but you... you, you these things don't come about by committee. They come about by having a fierce, uh, might, you could call it arrogant sense that this it has to be like this. If you start asking for too many opinions, it starts to get watered down. Everything um, cla is. Yeah, cla <laughs> so Classic was very much like that. I surrounded myself with some extraordinary talent to do DLS and I've ex surrounded myself with some extraordinary talent to do this. I mean, as you know, I, I was a, car designer in, in a previous life before I became a musician so I, I have a, I have enough talent to get myself into trouble but I do need the team and we have an incredible team and I now have proper designers around me to uh, to, to, to work on 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 producing something like this which is you know putting modesty to one side exquisitely executed um, and we have a we have a, 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 a brilliant bunch of people in California that have worked incredibly hard to do this. Um, Flow Flat Hour has, has been leading the charge, and um, and the same with DLS. We we just chase the bloody details until I want it on my driveway. That is what Singer is about. Maz as well. If we want it on our driveway, we are convinced that other people will want it too. And I think. It served us quite well. It's quite simplistic thinking, but it. Maz had a brown GT3 for a while. Yeah, I, know. I, 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 know. I know. Don't talk I know. about Maz. It's not worth it. <laughs> Maz and Wazel. Okay, one last question to both of you, and you can answer it separately. You go first. People are going to see pictures of this car and go, why would you clip that off road? It looks too nice. Ask Rob first. I don't know. It's got to look great, hasn't it? You've got to want to get in it, and you've got to want to drive it. We, we, you know, we, we, when, when we were first. You know, looking at the sketches of this, I just knew I wanted to drive it. I wanted to have it as my daily transport in Los Angeles. It can be an urban weapon. It can be something that you can go exploring into the Antarctic, and you can. But primarily, it's a properly set up for competition, Chris, and it can be, and it can win. We think it can win competitions uh, with the right drivers involved and the right support. We're gonna we're gonna offer support for anybody who wants to commission one of these, where uh, Richard can support their uh, their campaigning of the cars. And we're just going to see where it can go. Um, you know, me and Maz are, are, are motorsport nerds. We love it. We take it. Maz is, is involved in it quite deeply, as you probably know. And, and uh, we wanted to do something that was pucker and proper. And uh, without Richard, we wouldn't have done it. So, Well, checking out from here. The first time I met you was in warm California, going out, eating burgers in T-shirts and driving a very early classic. It wasn't even called a classic. Then it was just called it a singer. And yeah. you were hoping, you'd built about seven, you were hoping to build 20. We're now stood in Walters Arena, freezing our knackers off, looking at a few million pounds worth of exquisite carbon fibre. So it's been a hell of a journey. Well done, boss. Uh, this is Collecting Cars, checking out for an odd location. That was a short one, I know. But um, we will hear from you soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.